A somber homecoming today for an Army specialist killed in the line of duty. Today, Spencer Duncan's body was brought back to his hometown in Olathe. Beth Vaughn shows us how a community said thank you for his service simply by standing up. An estimated 15,000 people lined the streets of Olathe today with heavy hearts and American flags in hand. They took time to stand for Spencer, a young man who gave everything for freedom. <laughs> I did not know him personally, but I certainly wanted to take the time to pay my respects. The sidewalks along 151st Street were full of people like Laura Hare. You know, God bless America. Who never met Specialist Spencer Duncan, a 21-year-old Olathe South graduate killed a week and a half ago in Afghanistan. Just know how important it is to respect, I mean, the people that are serving and thank every one of them every time you see one. Because without those who protect freedom. Things would be a lot different around here. Like Duncan, Kyler Cantrell has chosen to serve his country. Six days I'll leave for boot camp, Fort Benning. Today, he thanked a fallen comrade. I just wanted to show support for him serving and him losing his life for our country. Gratitude, pride, and sadness were shared today in Olathe, especially by those who knew Duncan. I've never been more proud of anyone. I've ever met in my entire life. Dustin Hashbarger and Spencer Duncan called themselves the weekend warriors in junior high. Though several months ago, the word warrior took on a whole new meaning. Came by probably a month before he left to tell me he was going to Afghanistan and basically for just me to pray for him and so that's just what I've done. A friend, son, and soldier returned home with a hero's welcome. On Thursday, Specialist Duncan will be laid to rest at the Fort Leavenworth National Cemetery. Instead of flowers, his family has asked those who wish to honor Duncan to make a donation to the Wounded Warrior Project. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.